Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna find out if a chainsaw motor can stop a bullet. So we already know a bullet's gonna go right through the plastic casing around the motor. So I set one up that I've already removed the plastic from. What we really need to find out is if the metal inside here can stop bullets. And also by removing the plastic, we'll be able to tell what the bullets actually do. Cause if I left the plastic on, it'll be kinda hard to see what the bullets do inside there. And we're about 15 yards away. Okay, so it looks like even the 22 actually broke through this first layer right here. Must be like aluminum or something, that's surprising. And I don't know how well you can tell, but it looks like there's a bullet lodged in the bottom of the cylinder there. And you can see chunks of the wheel laying down there. And next will be the 45 ACP with 230 grain full metal jacket. So we only hit it with one shot, and it hit the screw in the center. So let's go ahead and try that again. So one of our 45s hit the screw in the center right here. And you can see some lead splatter in there, and chunks of lead stuck. Right here's a chunk of lead. Then we had one round hit up here, which might have gone through our handle first. And you can see the bullet stuck about halfway in there. That was the jacket. I guess the lead just disintegrated. But that's actually more damage than I expected. I guess this thing isn't as strong as I thought. Even just the 45 made it almost halfway through the cylinder here. Now we're gonna try some 44 Magnum. 240 grain jacketed soft points and these will be coming in around 1450 feet per second definitely hit a lot harder than the 45 So 144 Magnum hit right here, and another one hit right here, right in the center of the cylinder. And it actually broke through the wheel here too before hitting the cylinder. And now there's just a massive hole in there. But our first 44 just about came out the back right here. There's a piece of jacket stuck right there. Then you can tell it's broken right here. And our other one, our second shot dead center in the cylinder, Broke the back of it right there too, but it didn't come out. The whole back of the cylinder is cracked from that 44 Magnum, and there's a piece just sitting down there. Now let's see what a one ounce rifled slug will do. <laughs> I saw pieces of it go flying everywhere. So our shotgun slug threw it about eight feet away from the impact area. And there's a piece of the cylinder right there, a big old chunk, and little pieces everywhere. There's a piece, another piece, another piece. Pieces way over here. And a piece of the handle right here. Oh wow, and look at this. It practically hollowed the cylinder out. So that one ounce slug pretty much blew it into pieces. Must have hit right here. And that just blew the entire thing apart. Look at those pieces of the cylinder. Wow, and the whole thing is just cracked all the way down. Shotgun slugs are definitely no joke. I don't know if anything came out. I should have set something up behind the chainsaw to see. I kind of think something came out because the handle's broken. So something must have bounced out and snapped that handle off. Now we're going to try the 223 with 55 grain FMJs. Definitely a lot of smoke.
our first two, two, three hit right here, and our second one right here. And it looks like that first one didn't go through, probably got caught on all that metal down there. But our second shot that hit right there went straight out of the back of the cylinder right there. So I think it's safe to say a chainsaw motor will not protect you from a 223 unless they hit just the right spot, which would be pure luck. All right, so I've got just one more caliber to try, which will be the 8mm Mauser using 200 grain hollow point boat tails at about 2,600 feet per second. And of course one more round. Did I say one more? Because I actually meant two more. That second shot kind of went through the holes that were already there. So let's try again. Okay, did I say two more? Because I actually meant three more. Kind of the same result with that shot. Let's try one more time. Woo there we go. Something came back and landed right in front of me. I think that's the impact I was looking for there. Just pieces of the cylinder all over the place. So as I moved the chainsaw, the entire top fell off. Not sure where that last shot impacted because it appears to have just blown the whole thing apart. But I know from looking beforehand, our first shot with the eight millimeter hit the very top of the cylinder right here and then blew a bunch of the plastic off behind it. And our second shot went through right here and kind of just missed everything and went through all holes that were already there. And our third shot did the same thing but scraped the side of this right here, which I believe is the piston. And there's a piece of copper jacket on it and that went out through previous holes also. And then our third shot, not sure what happened, but now the flywheel's in half. The entire top of the cylinder is broken off. So I'm not sure where it hit, but our entire chainsaw motor is completely destroyed now. That's pretty incredible. This thing definitely isn't very bulletproof. All right, so I went ahead and set up another chainsaw motor. So what do you say we go ahead and just unload on this one for fun with some shotgun slug? So these one ounce rifled slugs seem to do the job pretty good. Let's see how this other motor holds up against them. So that first slug hit the motor right here and just broke the whole thing open and then hit our log right here and did quite a bit of damage to it with a bunch of lead splatter. And that second shot blew the whole cylinder clean off. Wow. I wasn't expecting that much destruction from just two shots. I was hoping to unload on it a bit more than that. But anyways, that's all for the can a chainsaw motor stop a bullet video. I think the answer is no. Maybe for certain handgun calibers, but even the 44 Magnum just about made it through. So just a few shots of 44 would probably completely destroy the motor also. But anyways, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you can and also make sure to check out my Facebook page I post short little shooting clips to my Facebook so you guys might like that So make sure to check that out if you can and if there's any kind of specific tests you guys want to see Make sure to let me know and as always. Thanks for watching